three count and we'll start. Good evening. Welcome to the Finance Committee meeting Tuesday, May 4th, 19 or 2021. Sorry about that. <laughs> this is the Zoom meeting. You're reminded by joining this meeting that you can send to your likeness and audio being used and rebroadcast by LCTV. Our meeting agenda tonight, uh, a short financial update, uh, if there's anything to update from Cheryl. Um, our, we'll walk through the warrant articles, those that pertain to FinCom, uh, and make our recommendations tonight. Uh, we'll take a uh, short meet, uh, discussion about future capital projects. There are some admin issues that we need to talk about tonight. Then we'll do public input, members updates, uh, the minutes, and the ever popular adjourn. And that's our agenda for this evening. And we'll start out uh, with Cheryl. I think you're probably going to want to screen share when we get to the recommendations, right? Yeah, I will. Yep, okay. absolutely. Anything hot on yeah, update for finance? Uh, no, no, you know, financial update really at this point. Um, the only thing I'd say is we're starting to look to year end. Um, you know, we're in May, so we have a couple more months here. So, um, you know, expect that we'll be having the typical meeting to do year end transfers, um, starting to actually just look at that now, kind of go through and project out what um, I think we might need through the end of the year. Um, and ideally, I'd like to try and at least do a first round of them in June. Um, and that's because our town meeting is so late this year. Um, I, you know, from a timing perspective, if I can get some of these transfers done and recorded before town meeting, that would be ideal uh, because once town meeting happens, then I have to record all the town meeting votes and then we close the books. So um, I don't know how the committee feels about um, doing that. I mean, we might have to have two waves of them in the event that I um, I'm off in my projections, but um, you can start doing them uh, effective May 1st is when you're legally allowed to do them. Well, we, you know, we usually do that after town meeting, but as you say, town meeting is late this year. So you tell us if you want to do them, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll accommodate you. Okay, great. All right. Thank you. You're quite welcome. All right, let's move on to the Warren articles. If you would put those up on the screen and we'll start through them. Sounds good. All right, so the first uh, financial article um, is Article 3, uh, Bill of Prior Years. Uh, it's a standard article that we typically have. We do have a few bills of prior years. Um, she just knows the typo in this, but um, one is $177 uh, for rabies testing uh, incurred by the Board of Health. Uh, one is um, actually to be paid from the uh, PRCE Enterprise Fund in the amount of $2,604 for equipment rentals. And then there's a $120 bill uh, from the building department uh, for inspectional services. Okay. Any discussion on that from the team? <clears throat> Do you want to take a vote? individually on each one of these yeah. or do you want to go yeah i think we should vote them individually mr chair yep okay sounds good to me move to recommend article three bills of prior years second okay. second i have a motion and a second to recommend approval on article three betsy yes gary yes Jerry. Yes. Tom. Yes. Tyler. Yes. Greg. Yes. We are, Alan is yes. We are unanimous on three. All right. 
you know, hold on a second. How many? How many are we voting on? Quite a few, right? Yeah. Greg, we might yeah, want to just follow once. <laughs> there's a bunch of them. Yeah. Well, yeah, I know there's a lot in there, but What's I mean, that? we've we've always voted them individually. Have we? Lumping, right. but okay. all right. Uh, I, I didn't. I guess. I mean, Article Four. I suppose we could just vote it all as one, right? We don't have to do it by line item like they do at uh, town meeting, where you ask. No, no I, I was just. No. Thinking, um, if we have like a hold, we can go back. But all right, that's fine. It's just a lot of. As long it, as Cheryl's okay with it. We'll call this one like the call of an article. Uh, you know what, Gary? Maybe that's the way we do this then. If we want to speed this up, then just call out a hold on it, and then we'll vote it individually. If anybody wants to hold on an article, that's a, that's a better way of doing it. Oh, yeah. Then we'll come back and... Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so next up is Article 4, the FY 2022 Operating Budget. Uh, this is the uh, recommended uh, budget that you recommended, total of $51,323,213. Uh, I do want to bring up that we do anticipate Article 4 potentially changing between now and town meeting. Um, so I leave that up to Finance Committee on whether you want to recommend the article as is and then uh, recommend... Uh, the updated one, should we have one um, at a later date? Um, and I say that because we're in the middle of negotiations with um, our unions, and we do anticipate having them um, settled, um, or at least the vast majority of them settled by town meeting, but we don't at this point. Well, that'll be a, a change in a lot of different line items because it's going to cover a bunch. But it will it will be. Do you anticipate anything else other than that? No. Changing Article Four. No, nothing else. And Mr. Chair, I so think it would be we, just a change of updating the numbers. We typically um, we would vote this on the floor or later in the month, and um, our recommendation might not be on the article for print. But I, I think this is one of those articles that we probably should not actually vote on until the numbers are locked, right? And so <laughs> I think we've done that in the past. We've either voted it on the floor, and, and then when it came up at town meeting, we would say um, FinCom uh, the, was not ready to recommend the, the final budget until uh, mm. after print. I, but I, I don't know how many articles we're going to have like that. Is, is there a, a chance that there's going to be more than this one, Cheryl? Um, I, there might be two. I just hate to see the booklet go out with Article 4, which is our article, without our recommendation on it. I, I know we've... Yeah, that's a good point, but what it... So, I guess, Cheryl, what it, when you talk about it could change, is this a drastic change? Is it... I mean, what, do you have any idea what we're looking at? Dollar wise, no, I don't. Um, I mean, it's every single salary line. So just out of sheer volume, I mean, it's not going to be. Um, it, it it will be impactful. Yeah. Um, okay. When um, when is the a reminder here? When when's the, the last day we can vote on this article before it goes to print? Is it next week? Um, yeah. So select board is meeting next week, and then it goes to print basically right after and i'm assuming nothing will be decided before yep. oh. next week right correct yeah i am comfortable voting on i and then if we have to talk during town meeting if something drastic changes then maybe we can mention it at town meeting yeah i i, I don't have a problem with with voting at town meeting on on individual things we've done that before but i really Really don't like to to have this without our imprimatur on it. No, that's it's, you know. it's going to be a yellow sheet handout anyway, right? Or, yeah, changes. well, right. So we can speak to the yellow sheet, okay? Okay, yeah. um, okay. which would cover us, right? So if we vote this as presented, uh, as printed, um, you know, if it changes, it's going to come out a yellow sheet, and we can speak to the yellow sheet and take mm -hmm. a vote on that on the floor. Yeah. 
Okay, that sounds like a good idea. Okay. All right, any other discussion on Article 4? We'll take a vote. I have a motion. Oh, uh, no, yeah, we're gonna, I'll we're make a go motion. Yeah, yeah that's right. We're going to go through them. Mr. Yeah. Oh, we're going to go through them. We're going to go through them all, right? We're not going to make right. motions on each other. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Okay, move on. <laughs> move on. Point of order there. I'm getting my sharing stop, share, share, stop, share skills <laughs> down pat here. I got to make notes, though, that I'm okay with number four. <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm taking notes. Got to share. Yeah, uh, my pen. My kid took my pen. <laughs> I got I'm, I'm writing down all the numbers we have to vote on so I can make a, a motion at the end or have them all if, if no one else is. Nice. Okay, Tyler, Tyler you're, you're in charge. <laughs> all right. So Article 5 is our, our typical departmental uh, revolving fund authorization article. Um, and, you know, as we talked about through this budget process, there was, uh, we I did identify some uh, revolving funds that didn't make sense to have anymore. And so there's two parts to it this year. It's the typical piece of it. And then there is the um, part of it where we're rescinding um, some of the revolving funds, one of them being inspectional services, um, pet cemetery, cemetery revolving, permitting software, and police cruiser sales. What I will say though, is we're still having ongoing discussions with the cemetery commission. So this actually is an, another article that um, could change um, depending on those conversations with the cemetery commission. Any discussion on five? Okay, we'll move on. Okay. And then article um, six is the water enterprise um, budget of $4,986,458. And just for clarity, that is not the sewer. That's just Correct. Regular, just water. Regular water. Yep. yep. <clears throat> Further discussion? Okay. Good. Move on. All right. The next one is the sewer budget. Um, so this is the sewer enterprise budget in the amount of $246,550. 44,000 salary. We just have one salary on the books for that. Looks like. it, it's, um, it's actually, um, it's a, no, it's, I think, for individuals, but it's just a small percent of their salary. So they, uh, it's not one person, it's a small percent of kind of a few different individuals. They each work one week a year on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, the next one is the Park uh, Recreation and Community Education Enterprise Fund Operating Budget in the amount of $1,094,584. Okay, we'll go down. That went down, huh? Yes. Well, revenues went down, too. <laughs> yeah, you see that. We we still yeah we're still appropriating money from or still giving them money from the appropriated fund. Correct. That's that uh, the transfer in from general fund at two hundred forty five thousand. That's the money that's coming okay. from the general fund. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. Um, next up, Article Nine. Oh, I see a typo there. It's actually the FY 2022 capital items um, in the amount of 
$1,601,500. I think we're good with that one. We voted it before. Both times. <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah, what, you know, one quick refresher, um, Cheryl. What what did we spend last year in capital? Do you remember? We're way down. We're way down, right? Yeah, was, was yeah. that like three mil? Oh, yeah, so what it's in Alan's that? report that he, he did a... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we spent multiple millions last year. Yeah, let me... Um, I, can't, I just can't remember the number from last year. Just, if you read my report, it said it... Yeah, I yeah I'll have to go back and look at it again. Everything was down quite a bit, actually. Yeah. So last year, um, I mean, in totality, um, it was three point two million. Yeah. Okay. So it's about. Um, half. <clears throat> I mean, it's important to point out, especially for the three viewers that are watching this along with us, to make sure that they all know that we're we're, we're coming way down in capital spending this year. Yeah, what I will say though is 1.4 of that went to capital stabilization. Mm. So that was an actual spend on capital projects in totality. So, so okay. But still down overall. Um, article 10 uh, is the borrowing, a million dollar borrowing authorization for funding of the design services for the new senior center. Um, and also included as uh, part two of that article is transferring the eighty thousand one hundred sixty-two and eighty-nine cents um, from other uh, capital current capital projects that have uh, leftover funding that's no longer needed. So the the senior center um, one million dollars that's worded differently than the library was. Remember we ran into a problem with the library where they couldn't use the design money for to build because it wasn't worded correctly. Right. I just wanted to see the, maybe it's, apply the pretty project costs. Okay, all right, that was, that was what was missing <laughs> in the library. Uh, and, and just um, a question on that, has the site been selected yet or is this part of the project is to figure out where it's going to go. Um, so, <clears throat> sorry. Um, I think they're going to not the, use the million dollars, but I think part of the 80,000 and then part of um, some money that we still have left in some space need articles, they're going to do the required steps to make sure that the site that they currently have in mind for it, it can uh, fit, go, go move forward. It's the hill site, Greg. I mean, if that, that's the, the current site is a, a hillside site over the baseball diamond back of the townhouse. Oh, I'm going to take the baseball field up next. Well, it, it, it appears the baseball field will still be in play. Well, so if you get, if you hit a foul ball, it goes through a window. <laughs> It'd be a blank wall. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Well, the, all the old people could yell at the kids about the ball in their yard. Right. <laughs> Get off my lawn. <laughs> um, uh, the next article, Article 11. Hey, sorry, I just want to, oh, sure. to list those projects that were sure, sure. money from. It's always good to see what's, what's closing out and what we didn't use. Sorry, you look at those dollar amounts there; they're all pretty low, with the exception of the pole barn. Looks like that was a, a little bit of an overestimate to build the pole barn. Yep. It's a good thing they didn't buy lumber this year. <laughs> yeah. Yep. It didn't include the poles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boy, that was a long time ago. Yeah, it was. Yeah. We could use that money somewhere else. Okay. 
Okay, Article 11 is appropriating uh, the funds that we received from uh, Northbridge uh, for some various capital projects in the amount of uh, $1,110,000. All right, Article 12, any questions on 11? No. Okay, um, Article 12 is the uh, CPC um, budget. I don't know if you want me to go through all the different lines here, but pretty self-explanatory. Um, this is not really a financial article, so I don't know that you'll need to take a recommendation on this. It's just, it's just amending some language in a previous article. Um, article 14 is the compensation grid, which we do not have yet, so we'll be passing over that. Um, Article 15 is a placeholder. Um, I don't think they're going to need this, so it'll probably get removed. Article 16 is to fund the collective bargaining agreements uh, should we come to agreement um, before town meeting. Article 17... Hey, sure. Sure. Cheryl, sorry, so just these placeholder ones, like 15, 16, they're not things we should, we, we don't need to take a position on any of those tonight, right? So, right, they're just kind of, we wouldn't recommend them until we know if they're going to be final or not. Correct, yeah. So I make sure my cheat sheet is right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. All three, this, is this um, all three um, bargaining? We'd wait I, on that. Um, yeah. All We're, three, yeah. not all three. well, it's technically four, but police, dispatch, fire, highway. <coughs> um, article 17 is the use of the debt exclusion stabilization fund for FY22. And it's um, utilizing one hundred sixty-one thousand one hundred thirty-six dollars and sixty-eight cents. Good. Article eighteen is well, the trend. Can we go back to seventeen for a second. Sure. Well, could that potentially have any play on our bond rating? <laughs> the use of it, or yeah, yeah. the way. Well, what? <laughs> It's kind of interesting. So we're, um, you'll notice later on, we're also funding it. So we're funding it and using it. So what they really look at is whether whether we have sufficient balance in a plan to kind of carry us through the years, which we do. It's, it's all a plan that's worked out in the um, ER projection. So um, I think just having it generally and ensuring that we're funding it and using it and that we have a sufficient balance to carry us through. Um, this looked favorably. So no, no concerns there. No. Okay. Um, Article eighteen is a uh, one hundred fifty thousand uh, dollars transfer from free cash to the general stabilization fund. Article 19 is a transfer of $308,500 from free cash to capital stabilization. Um, I don't know that you'll, I, don't, I guess you'll be recommending this. Article 20 is just accepting certain language so that in the future should um, the select board in the town 
want to dedicate revenue to a stabilization fund, they can. But at this point, we're not dedicating revenue to a stabilization fund. This just allows us, there's a vote that has to be taken to accept it um, so that we can do it in the future. So That's, those funds like the ones we're getting from um, Amazon? Um, it could include those, yes. Or the marijuana? The marijuana the tax was kind of the main impetus for this. Yeah, okay. So it's not talking about a dollar amount. It's talking about a specific revenue source to apply. Right, and it's and in this this article actually is in, there's actually two um, parts, there's two votes. This is just allowing us in the future to to have the vote to select the revenue source and, and, and then select the stabilization fund. This is just allowing the town in the future to, to basically take that vote. Right, yeah, but it just doesn't, we, we thought that was a very specific vote on the, the amount and, and what the level they went into and, and where- Oh yeah. Be yeah, yeah, the, yeah, they're two different, they're actually two different votes. So Cheryl, we've done this in the past, like with the cell tower funds going to things. So why, why do we need this? How is this different? I think um, this I is because this is goes into a stabilization. You're That's actually going, yeah, because it's going to stabilization. It's not going into. You're not voting revenue to go into. You know, CPC. Or it went to like the self tower money went to. I guess it ended up at CPC to buy land, right, for open space. Mm -hmm. So that seems similar to me. I don't really get that why we would need a whole vote, a whole article. I mean, I, I believe that it's true. which is always interesting to me how these how this legalities of these things work. Right. Right. Yeah, the so, town so, has to accept that specific paragraph and section. Um, so Cheryl, I, just, I just want to make sure that I mean, we haven't really had a discussion and I, I don't think the select board has either on when these monies start to come in, how we're, how it's going to be broken up, correct? Correct, yeah. Um, so I, I think this is going to be this could become a significant amount of money, right? So I think the, we, we should probably start having discussions about what the breakout is gonna be, or does it change every year? Or are we gonna have some consistency to it? Or Yeah, so, yeah, right. So Gary, so it, when town meeting votes, it's it's a consistent percentage. You know, okay. So town meeting would say, I'm just gonna make this up. 20% of marijuana taxes going into XYZ special purpose yeah. stabilization fund. And then that's, that's it until, unless town meeting votes to change it, that is what it is. Um, I do know that in the select board at this point is not ready to have those discussions because, you know, in the fall, we're not even gonna, we won't be seeing this revenue source. And so it's a discussion that I know is, that they um, have for the future. But at this point, it's a little premature because we're not gonna be seeing this uh, revenue. Okay, so um, it, this isn't the creation of a new stabilization fund. This is how we're going to break it out into other stabilization funds, correct? This is just accepting, uh, it's-, it's ex I, I mean, we're gonna have discussions. I, I know right. this is kind of setting the groundwork, but I, I was just curious, the discussion, the way it's worded, to a stabilization fund is it, it's just kind of tricky to me. It sounds like we're creating a stabilization fund. And we're putting it in there as opposed to, we have the freedom. A little, we have a little more flexibility to break it out. Is that? Yeah. I think it's basically like we're, we're, we're adapting this chapter of MGL, right. And then it lets us, it lets us do this in the future. Right. Correct. Yeah. So we're not, we're not establishing a fund. We're just giving ourselves the option to do so. Okay. Everybody good with that? Or as good as you're gonna get? Okay, move on. Um, article 21 is the uh, Conservation Commission open space budget from the Oak Hill Cell Tower Fund in the amount of $17,000. Article 22 is the Senior and Veterans Tax Work Off Abatement Programs, um, 80,000 for senior citizens and 7,000 for veterans. Um, 
Um, Article 23 is the one that the select board will be discussing um, Monday night. Um, this is, they are looking to try and adopt um, another uh, chapter, which gives uh, more of a senior exemption. Um, so this is the one that I said uh, likely will be changing. So is the, is the, the articles written here what they're going to vote on? on Monday night, the select board's gonna vote on? No, it's gonna change. It's gonna change totally? Yes. Mr. Well, Chair, should we hold this one out? Yes, we are. Yeah, we are. Okay. Um, Article 24 is transferring $22,565 <clears throat> from free cash to the FY20 Chapter 90 fund. Article 25 is the LCTV uh, budget article. Total amount $314,335. Article 26 is rescinding a capital article for Clean Lakes in the amount of $60,200. What is happening with that? So they, if you recall, they already rescinded one article and I don't, I think that they didn't realize there was actually two articles that they wanted to rescind. Um, and so uh, this is just a follow up to the other one that they rescinded. So that whole plan to, to do that dredging isn't going to, it's not happening now. Um, I don't think that that's necessarily the case. I think the project is ongoing, but I think they received um, the, from the army Corps of engineers. Yeah. Um, yeah. They got some additional funding. So they didn't need the money. Okay. Cool. Love that. Yep. So where is that 60,000 going to go Cheryl? It goes back to Clean Lakes because that's where it came from. Um, and then I think that wraps it up for financial articles. Good. <clears throat> Any further discussion on this issue? In that case, Tyler, do you have your motion? I do. I got my little, uh, my little cheat sheet here. <laughs> so I make a motion that the finance uh, committee um, are, votes to, to recommend support for articles four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, 24, 25, and 26 for this fiscal year's uh, annual town meeting. I second that. I have the same list, Tyler. Oh, good. <laughs> My Sharpie was working. <laughs> yeah, I switched from pen to Sharpie halfway through. <laughs> it died. Okay, that leaves us two passed over articles. Article 14 and 23, right? Yeah, there are a couple others, Alan, that were like incomplete or, or in draft form, like 15, 16. There are a couple other ones that just, you know, Cheryl said we're we're gonna we're gonna change, right? But mm -hmm. but I think none of them are on are in a final state that we can vote on. Okay. I have a second. Yep. So second. So, so moved. All right. I have a motion as read and a second. All in favor? Tyler. Aye. Gary? Yes. Jerry? Yes. Tom? Yes. Greg? Yes. Betsy? Yes. Alan is a yes. So there we are. And Bob's your uncle. Thank you very much.
Thank it was quite you. painless. One million dollar painless. Yeah, right. <laughs> if you can call that painless, right? Ouch. Only money. I feel it every quarter. <laughs> I got to throw that out there for Fred. It's only money. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next item on the agenda is future capital projects. And just so that we keep them all in mind, we've got the senior center that will be coming on, assuming that the town meeting approves the, the million dollar borrowing. Um, it's likely to be an overall somewhere around $10 million. Um, Wastewater treatment plant to, um, uh, phone's ringing, I'm sorry. Wastewater treatment plant to uh, uh, build, a, build a new one to take the place of the ones that's at the high school. That's going to be six million or so, right, Cheryl? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then looking down the road, hopefully a long way down the road, the expanded sewer to the common, which is another great big bunch of money. Uh, is there anything else that I'm missing that we, that's on the horizon? Actually schools, I, I, I think yeah. um, the, I, I did see in the, the federal budget, a, a lot of money going out to the states for school programs and, and school, I think that can be used for construction as well, but I don't know how much Littleton could potentially get in this. But you remember we did that um, years back with one of our schools, I think the new the new middle school, we actually had a massive grant, correct? Uh, of several million dollars that helped build that school. So I'm hoping that this kind of plays into that with the new budget, but maybe not, but I, I it's hard to read that fine print, but that is something I know that we're schools are going to come up here in the next, you know, few years, but yeah, I, I think that's, a, that's part of this infrastructure plan. Yeah. Yeah. That it, it, it will be a lot of money there for schools, whether it's construction or not, I don't know, but that is shaker lane you're talking about, right? Yeah. I, I didn't put that on the list, but you're absolutely right. Out there that's why I was looking at I don't remember everything, so. Yeah, I mean, Alan, I think outside the, the big kind of building projects and big stuff you're talking about, I mean, you know, just the cap plan in general that we looked at, didn't that, that had some pretty big items coming up that were far, you know, far more than what we spent this year, right? So I think, I think we have, you know, some challenges there potentially or, or things to talk about, you know, on, on how we're gonna, gonna fund a pretty aggressive capital plan going forward, right? Even outside the the buildings. Yeah, it's it's good to keep all these things in the back of your mind as you're doing yearly budgets because they they do pop up and all of a sudden they're there. So yeah. <laughs> Any other issue on? Hey, don't we have, um, uh, Mr. Chair, through you, to Cheryl? Um, <clears throat> don't we have um, some financial concerns about fiscal twenty three and twenty four? Yes. Like like, there's not a lot of new growth coming in. Right. right. I'm like, especially like the commercial side. So uh, we're going to be a little tight on, on, uh, on budget. Right. Yes. And that's, I mean, that's when in 23, 24 is when the uh, permanent library borrowing will hit too. So that's going to eat up some capacity there. Perfect timing. Yeah. Yeah. So something, something, that we need to, something we need to keep in mind, Mr. Chair, as we, start to move through the next year um you know as people want to spend more money we we got to realize we got a couple of years of tight budget coming up here yeah <clears throat> all right anything else in that issue if not moving right along um some administrative issues uh our fincon team has three people that are up for reappointment this year. Their appointments run out in June. Uh, Tom Perell, Betsy Bowling, and Greg Chapney. Have either one of the three of you or any of you touched base with the organization that you represent? 
I have not. I have not either. I have not either. Yeah, I, I'm going to assume that you're all staying aboard. And if so, you need to get in touch with them. And if you're not, you need to get in touch with them so they can right. start looking for a replacement so we don't find ourselves next fall with a, with a board of four or five people instead of seven. So I bring that to your attention in case it had slipped your mind. Thank you, Alan. You're quite welcome, Greg. I, I, I was really talking to you because I know. <laughs> and Betsy, you were shaking your head like you're, you're not on the fence, are you? No, I think I'm over the fence. I think I'm not coming back. Oh, that's not that's not a good thing. Yeah, you'll do fine. Yeah, that's all right. We we have a month to talk you out of that. <laughs> and Where the ever popular for, for me. Where we need to uh, start thinking about who is going to chair this mob next year. Greg? Uh, it could be Gary. I think Gary would be a great chair. Let's <laughs> don't be throwing things. <laughs> he asked you a direct question. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> but That's who I'm event, nominating. <laughs> uh, we're going to need a chairman, a vice chair, and a clerk. So you want to start thinking about if you're Tom's a perennial clerk. <laughs> oh, Tom, oh, Tom, Tom, you 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 go do it again. <laughs> Tom's a perennial clerk. 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 <laughs> anyway, oh, oh. if you if you're willing to step forward, you need to to think about it, and uh, let's uh, <clears throat> before town meeting or right after town meeting, we'll hold we'll hold a short meeting for elections. So if you're willing to, to step up, think about it, let us know, okay? Will do. Public input. Amber, do we have any public? Apparently not. Okay, members have, update. Yes? We have one, but ah. they haven't raised their hand. Okay. So I said three earlier. I wasn't that far off. <laughs> we get our views, though, after the fact. Yeah. <laughs> Late night. <laughs> Can't sleep. I got to watch. I gotta I'll, watch, watch this at least 20 times. <laughs> Where are we? I don't hear anything. Okay. <laughs> Member updates. Tyler? Uh, I don't think I have anything this time. Gary? I, well, I guess since we last met, um, my, as you know, I'm the FinCom's appointee to the personnel board. Uh, we meet tomorrow. Um, one of the articles on the uh, one of the warrants is to dissolve the personnel board and go with a and, and use HR. It's a more formalized process, um, utilizing the services that our full-time staff can provide. So I know that's a that's a big change. Um, so I, I, I that'll be something we'll wait and see. But that that position may be going away if town votes in favor of that. Um, the other thing, I, I am the newest, when I say newest, I also mean youngest by six months member of the COA. So I was, Good for uh, you. <laughs> I interviewed and um, was accepted for the Council on Aging. So I look forward to participating in that. Exciting times uh, and a lot going on. So I, I hopefully can bring some value to that board as well. Congratulations, Pops. Thanks. <laughs> Congrats. Uh, I I hate to see the personnel board go, but I understand things happen, things change. But I've been on that board for about twenty years, going back to nineteen eighty four. So I remember it's you time. <laughs> <laughs> it's time. Anything else, Gary? 
Um, no, that's it. Thank you. Okay. Jerry Pertozzi. Um, I didn't, but now I'm just wondering if they do vote to do away with the board, what does that mean for the um, fair appointee to the finance board? Do we lose a representative or? Well, we, there, there's state law that protects the finance board. So it requires that there be a finance board. No, no, no. I mean, do we, do we lose a, um, you know, a member? Oh, no, no, no. There no. won't be a board appointing a person from that board. No, no, no. The, the personnel board doesn't appoint a person to the finance committee, but it was one of those positions that, or one of those committees that the finance committee always appointed one of our and members to sit in. Okay, on I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Tom? Nothing new. Nothing new. Did you get drafted? Uh, not this time. <laughs> I'm still waiting. I've been waiting for over 30 years, Alan. <laughs> you, could, you could be a wide receiver now with your weight loss. <laughs> They're going to pick you up in the 4,000th round, right? <laughs> okay, Greg? I have nothing. Uh, no. Uh, may the fourth be with you. <laughs> I knew it was coming, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> Betsy Bombshell, what have you got? <laughs> nothing. I got nothing. nothing after that, right? <laughs> okay. I have nothing either. Um, so if nothing else spectacularly comes up, I don't see anything that will cause us to meet between now and um, town meeting. I think we've I done all that. Remember? I'm sorry? Remember what Cheryl had mentioned that we might have, you, you agreed to meet if we have to for some of. Yeah. For, so we probably will be meeting, I would, I would imagine. Yeah. Uh, but we've, our scheduled meeting on the, the second Tuesday of May will not happen. So we'll not do that. Maybe we'll meet the, the, the fourth Tuesday. Or maybe we'll meet the first week of June. But I'll let you know sufficient time ahead, and I'll coordinate with Cheryl when we need to do that. Okay. And if we do that meeting, we'll also do our elections meeting then also. And we'll do the um, year-end transfers that Cheryl needs to be done. Any other reason? Okay. Uh, minutes? Marilyn, are you there? Aha, she is. <laughs> you need to unmute, Marilyn. Go on mute, Marilyn. I just unmute it. <laughs> Good. I, I have the minutes that I sent out um, for the April 13th meeting. Does anyone have any anything, any comments, or just to vote to approve them as read? Or any comments? Any changes? Okay. The minutes of April thirteenth. Do I have a motion to approve as read? So we'll moved. Okay. I have a motion and a second to approve the minutes of April thirteenth. Gary. Yes. Tyler? Yes. Jerry? Yes. Tom? Yes. Greg? Yes. Betsy? Yes. Alan is a yes. The meeting minutes are approved. Thank you, Marilyn. You're welcome. Anybody have anything else they want to discuss before we do the adjourn? The motion to adjourn. Second. I have a motion to adjourn and a second. All in favor? Tyler? Yes. Gary? Yes. Yes. Tom? <laughs> yes. Gary? Read my lips. Gary? I said yes. Greg? Yes. Betsy? Sure. <laughs> and Alan is a yes. 
We are adjourned. Thank you all for coming. Cheryl, thank you as usual. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great thank night.